Hey guys, it's me Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. The setup is a little different because I have you guys balanced on an actual bookcase of mine. Luckily it is white so I figured this would be a really nice setup to do sketchbook updates and all that good stuff. Which this is by the way. <laughs> so um, this sketchbook is just a regular sketchbook you'll find in Walmart or whatever. And I actually really like it so I just want to say that you don't have to buy five to ten dollar sketchbooks to have the greatest sketchbook experience ever so um yeah so the stickers on the top is from my friend sue chronicle i got it from her a while ago actually and the stickers right here are my own so i will link my shop down below if you guys want to get any of my merch so the first sketch is of ico i actually did a actual colored image as the first page but the items in which i used got obliterate it because I spilt water on it and the water just kind of was like yeah no Narelle we're not working with you anymore <laughs> so I had to rip it out and then that's the reason why you see Ico. Um, so, um, here are some doodles of my characters, Micah and Ari, because I want to develop them more, because since I am not working on their story at the moment, I still want to have, like, a well-versed ground of how they look like and what their person are, what their personalities are. <laughs> so, on the left is a doodle page of Suga, and here's some more sketches of Aiko. I drew Aiko a lot in this sketchbook, you'll notice, <laughs> and this this is actually a guy version of Ico, but I quickly stopped it because he looks exactly like Naoya. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more creative <laughs> in creating her guy version. And here are some doodles of Ari that I really don't like. And I left this blank from some reason that I don't know. Um, here is when I live streamed, so I wanted to draw Otsumu Mia, um, but he wasn't turning out the way I wanted, so I just left him as a chibi head, and here are some small doodles of Hyoto and Tatara from Welcome to the Ballroom, because they're my life, and I love them, hashtag Hyotara for life, because they're cute, and these are some planning sketches I did for my art trade I did with Domenica, so you can go on my channel and watch how that drawing came about. Out. and here's another doodle of Aiko. Um, here's another doodle of Suga because Min Yoongi is my life, I swear. And here's actually a doodle dump of Chio and all the different versions you'll see her in the story, which I thought was really cute. I wanted to do this with Naru and Rayo, but I just didn't get the time. Nor, you know, wanted to do it because I went through a really bad art block during this sketchbook. Um, so here's some more Aiko. Here's another Suga sketch. Um, I tried to work with the shape blocking and I just figure that it just doesn't work for my style other people make it look so cool but I'm like yeah no I'll just keep my color shapes um here's another doodle of Micah and Ari this is actually on Instagram so um you can see it on there I'm trying to not post a lot of my sketchbook sketches on Instagram so you guys can have a little bit more surprise when you see the updates because you're not seeing a lot of what you saw on Instagram, if that makes sense. So here's a doodle of Akisa and Kahori that originally wasn't finished, but I thought I could just finish it because, you know, a lot of your ideas don't work out half the time, but if you actually do put the effort into finishing it, you may have an idea you want to rework in the future, and that's what this one was, so hopefully in the future I will redraw it and make it the way I wanted it to turn out the first time. Um, here is just a random doodle. Um, here are some sketches I'm not proud of. So here's Aiko. I really love how she turned out. And here is Kohori. I don't like the full body, but I do like this smaller face here because it looks cute. Like, Kohori looks cute all the time. I just don't like how this turned out. Um, I, I think it's just the legs or something about it is just not screaming my attention. But, yeah. And here's a drawing I did of Naoya. It's more like a doodle, but I feel jilted if I call it a doodle. And you guys are like, never 
Pharrell is a drawing. <laughs> it's inked and fully colored. I'm just like, I know, but to me, it's a, a doodle. I don't classify it as a drawing, but just for the sake of clarity, this is a drawing. I did have Nalia colored with my beak um, markers, and I have to kind of look at my camera to see if y'all are still recording, because <laughs> my phone literally is almost dead right now, but I actually haven't used the beak markers in ages, and I'm like, let me see how they blend, because a lot of people love them, and once I completed this drawing, I'm just like, oh my gosh, they actually looked really cute, even though the colors I have don't really blend together, they blend, but they don't have, like, another color that's close to it, but I made it work, it actually looks really cute. <laughs> Um, here are some doodles of my character, Masa, who is in the comic that I actually am writing and drawing on Tapastic. I will try to link it down below. Um, I am three chapters in, so if you guys want to read it, please check it out, because I am going to actively restart it once I get my new laptop. So that's another thing that is, that sucks, that for me not having a computer, I can't update my comic. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is a sketch of Sailor Jupiter that I did for my memory. And I actually did this um, during a live stream. I was like, oh my gosh, what should I do? Um, and some people were like, hey, never I'll draw Sailor Jupiter. And I'm just like, you know what? Let me just draw her for my memory. And I drew this. And surprisingly so, a lot of the people that were there were like, Nero, you got a lot of her details correct. I just missed certain things, like her gloves. The tiara, I knew I missed, but I drew her hair too long, so I couldn't put it on there. And other things I missed, but they were just like, Nero, you pretty are accurate. <laughs> I'm Sailor Jupiter, so I'm like, thank you guys. <laughs> this convinces me my memory ain't so bad. Um, and here's some doodles of my character Masa, because I'm trying to develop his hideaway clothes, because he is a celebrity, so I'm not the goodest with fashion, so I tried. <laughs> I tried, and here is a drawing of Nadu. I'm going to have to remember how my sketchbook was positioned, but um, I actually drew this and explained it on Instagram, so if you go on my Instagram account, you'll figure out what this is about, but I read drew this from a drawing I did in 2014 I believe and I really like this one more than the other one I did because the other one you know I was just playing around with my characters and you know when you're younger you just do um ah hold on okay I'm in frame I'm in frame. Okay. <laughs> so get, getting back to what I was saying, when you're younger, you really don't think about the logistics of a character. But when you're older, you're like, man, my character's not like that anymore. <laughs> so I wanted to draw something that's more accurate to how Naru is and how the story is going than it was back then. Uh, here's a doodle of John Cookie in his Euphoria outfit. When I came home from work, I'm like, man, I want to draw a John Cookie in his Euphoria outfit, and that is what I did. And honestly, this is my favorite sketch out of the sketchbook. Legit, it's my favorite sketch. So, yeet. Um, this is the planning of the splash page for my comic. Um, due to me not having a laptop, I cannot show you that splash page. <laughs> but um, it's actually my new business card. So this is what it looks like. Um, and again, it's cute, but if you get um, stuff from my shop, you would already have this in your hands. But um, yeah. So here are some doodles of Naisho and Chisana because I wanted to do like a more sketchier style because if you saw in the beginning, I did a lot of pens. So I'm like, let me switch over to pencil because I haven't drawn with pencil um, a lot in this sketchbook. So I actually really like how these turned out and these are on Instagram as well and I explained these a lot more on there. So yeet. Um, here again is the, um, line art to this drawing right here. So, yee. <laughs> uh, here are some doodles of Rohe because I missed him. I don't draw him as much. And you guys are like, never I'll draw Rohe. And I'm like, okay. So here is Rohe for you guys' pleasure. <laughs> uh, here are some more doodles of Masa in different clothing. 
Um, here's a idea I wanted to do for my comic, but it just kind of didn't go with what I wanted. So I just kind of stopped on this, but I will come back to it, um, when I get inspired to work on it again, because sometimes you have ideas, but then you lose your inspiration for that idea, which isn't a bad thing. Um, so just come back to it <laughs> if it's something that you guys really, really liked. And this is a doodle of Rohe and Kohori that is on Instagram, so if you guys want to know the context of this just go to my instagram uh here's a very quick and sketchy doodle of azalea that wasn't even finished mind you i just came back one night and i'm like let me just finish this and this is how it turned out and i really really like how it turned out uh, here's um, a pink doodle of Aiko, and here are some doodles of my OC Manabu. He is my alpha male. Um, I missed him too, and I tried to redesign him, but it just wasn't working, so I just kept him how he original looked like. Original looked like. How he originally looked like correction <laughs> and here's an ugly drawing of Rayo. this is when i was like yeah Nero, you're an art block so i just kind of quit drawing for a while and then i came back and then i got my label printer to work for my shop labels and then i'm like let me just re um draw something as well to get me back into the drawing mojo so i redrew a drawing of my character russell who's my mouse baby and i really liked it until i drew something on the back and ruined it and i tried to save it as much as I could but it just wasn't it just wasn't gonna work <laughs> let me see if I'm in frame guys I'm trying not to be out of frame this time so um here's a doodle of Aiko and Rohe in workout clothes and here's a drawing of Zyke and you can't have Zyke without his girlfriend Lola they are so cute and a lot of you guys like these two images as well so thank you so much geez. Um, here's another drawing of Masa that is permanent in the story. I was just trying to design a hideaway outfit <laughs> that he can wear on the street and Hanayo met him in these clothes in the newest chapter. So, yeet. <laughs> and here's a quick, um, comic one shot, if you want to call it, of Aiko and Nick. So Nick ended up going to his warehouse because he is a drug dealer. Um, and it was hot. So he's like, why is it so hot? And Aiko's like, oh, it's very hot indeed because his shirt was up, obviously. And then uh, he's just like, get to work, Aiko. Because he's like, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> he's like, Aiko, come on. Get to work. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and to compliment um, Naisho and Chisana, I decided to draw Nadu and Chinyo in the same positioning as their parents. And they're so cute. How can I get over them? I need to draw them more. <laughs> I don't draw my babies at all anymore. And here's a drawing that broke Instagram. You know how the other sketchbook update, it was that doodle of Rohe? Now it's this drawing of Akurao from Kamisama Hajime Masta. Um, I drew him ages ago and I didn't like it, so I found a drawing and I redrew it. <laughs> So this is the redraw, and a lot of you guys went crazy over it on Instagram. So thank you so much, is I personally did not like this, um, but a lot of you guys are like Narelle, it's fine, we like it, and I'm just like, thank you so much, is so yeet, and I left this page blank for a reason because I didn't want the marker to transfer, and it did not transfer at all. So yeet. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I had to take a pause because my phone was dying and it still is dying. But I'm going to try to finish up this um, update because, you know, the sun is going and yeah. So um, here's another doodle of Otsumu. Mia because ooh, he's my life. Um, here are some doodles of Rohe and Hiroki because again, I don't draw them as much as I used to. So I'm like, let me bring them back for like another season. <laughs> uh, here are some doodles that I did on a live stream. Here's my character Me Too because I miss drawing him and this was a live stream that me and a couple of friends drew um, Genshin Impact Boyo. So I drew my earthy babe, Jolie, or Zhongli. <laughs> My mind is going, guys. I'm so sorry. But originally, I did not like this um drawing at all but a lot of you guys really liked it so it kind of curved my opinion of it and i think it's cute 
<laughs> I have this idea of just redrawing it, but finishing it as a final piece. So uh, maybe you'll see that later. <laughs> uh, here's some unfinished stuff. Uh, here's my character Axis, who you guys have not seen in God knows how long. Uh, here's another doodle of Aiko, and here is a sketchy of Micah and Ari being all cute. Because <laughs> they're just cute. I love them. Um, here's a drawing idea I had of Inuyasha and Kagome, but the idea didn't go the way I wanted it, so I just kind of sketched it roughly here, and luckily my mind was like, okay, I can get you this far, <laughs> but the rest you're gonna have to, you know, wait a bit, so maybe later on I'll try to redraw it. And here's a very XX sketch of Azalea that I should have warned you guys about, but we are all adults here. <laughs> Or at least adults here. So I'm going to let you guys see it for a second and then skip over it for a second. But um, here's another cute doodle of Micah and Ari. This was on Instagram and a lot of you guys went crazy. Uh, AKA went very cute, cute over it. And I really love that you guys like this sketch because I think it's adorable too. Um, here's a drawing of Naru that I like sketched rather than liked finished. Um, I kind of wanted to bring back that purple sweater thing that Naru had when I first introduced him on the channel and it kind of just died away and I'm like, I gotta bring it back. So, um, I really hate how this turned out. Like, I don't know why. I just hate it so much. So I will redraw it in the later sketchbook and just kind of make it better than this because I'm like, mm, I just really don't like it. I really, really don't like that drawing. And the last pages is just of drawings that I state, not state, taped in here because I was just kind of tired of the sketchbook, to be honest. So I just was like, you know, let me just tape these two drawings in here and call it done. So this is a doodle of a random guy that I drew at work with a crayon because we don't have anything colored besides black pens. So I found some crayons that we have for little kids. They want to, you know, draw or do these information worksheets while they're eating their pizza wings or fries <laughs> so I took a pack of the crayons and drew this so yeah and this drawing of Micah you guys have seen in a while ago so I just kind of taped it in here because it was just sitting on my dresser and I'm like it's safer in here than it is on my dresser and um, this is a sticker that I did not get a chance to finish. It's my bird babies. There were supposed to be a trio, the dog, the cats, and the birds, but I just did not get this idea to go. So maybe in the next update, you'll see the bird babes as their own little thing. And then the rest of this sketchbook is legit um, swatch pages. Don't know why my mind blanked at that moment of time, but they're just swatch pages. Um... I normally don't use the last pages of my sketchbooks anyway, so I just use it to do swatches of newer markers that I got and all that good stuff. So, that is it for this update. Um, I really enjoyed this. I'm not even lying. I really enjoyed this a lot. It was very sketchy, and you hardly saw any, like, uh, any uh, final pieces in it, and I just love that it emphasized more sketching because I tend to kind of go crazy over final pieces because, to be honest, I am jealous of people who could do, like, ten final drawings in a sketchbook and you know have no issue at all but for me personally I realized me as an artist I am who I am I'm the artist that I am and I should just try to do my own thing and not try to compare myself to other artists sketchbooks because my sketchbook might look like a joke to other people's sketchbooks because my lord um looking at other people's sketchbooks are like shock like a shock reality but this is my sketchbook this is me so you know everyone sketchbooks are different so do not compare your sketchbooks with somebody else's because you know that's their sketchbook maybe their sketchbook yeah it may look nice maybe to them it's like mm, this is just another sketchbook to me you know so yeah and I'm going to leave some promotion here a little bit. So um, if you guys like this sketchbook, give it a like. Uh, tell me what was your favorite drawing in it, sketch in it. Just let me, tell me what you liked in the comment box below. And um, for all of you guys that I cannot link you guys to, if you follow these links 
right here is a link to my actual Instagram, which you guys should follow by now. <laughs> my store Instagram. If you guys didn't know, I do have a store Instagram. So it's Nyrell83. So that there you will see a lot of my updates of my shop and what's coming on my shop. I need to take photos of my newer items, you know, just saying. And this is my Etsy shop, which is .com slash shop Nyrell B. And you'll find all of my merch and thank you so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this very impromptu setup so yeah so that's it so thanks guys bye <laughs>